Hi everyone, welcome to our talk. I'm Mang Mang Tsai, PhD, JD, attorney at law at New Wei Ming Law Group. So the topic for this talk is U.S. green card through employer-sponsored PERM or labor certificate. So for background information, as you know, in order to get a U.S. green card, you can go through family-based immigration or employment-based immigration. And for employment-based green card, there are self-petitions available, such as EB-1, Alien with Extraordinary Ability, or NIW, National Interest Waiver. And other than that, there are also employer-sponsored green card, which mostly will include the PERM. As we know, work visa and green card, there are different items. So like H-1B, O-1, or L-1, those are work visas. They allow you to temporarily stay and work and live in the U.S. Well, the green card is for permanent residency. So what kind of applicants are suitable to benefit through the PERM process? Well, that include, for example, professionals in the IT industry, well, accountants, company employees, such as workers in the financial industry, in the service industry, manufacturing, etc. As we see, those applicants, the individuals, they are the beneficiaries. Well, the employer is the petitioner for the PERM application and the, the subsequent I-140 petition to the UICS. There's a category difference in EB-2 and EB-3. So uh, the difference is for EB-2, the job, the position requires either master's degree or other advanced degree or bachelor's degree plus five years of experience. So keep in mind that this is the requirement of the job itself. Well, if you hold a master's degree, but the job itself only requires bachelor's degree, then you can apply EB-3 instead of EB-2. There's no significant difference, basically, in waiting time for you to get green card, unless you were born in India. And why there's this PERM process for U.S. green card? Well, the reasoning is through the process, the employer can prove there's no U.S. worker who's capable or willing to work on the position. Therefore, the employer needs to hire you, the foreign worker, and sponsor green card for you. So in order to do that, the employer should be ready to hire the foreign worker, who's you, on a full-time and permanent basis. And there should be a good faith job opening that is available to the public, to U.S. workers. Next, we'll discuss how to prove this. How about the fees? The U.S. DOL, actually, Department of Labor, does not charge any fee uh, for the PERM process. However, the employer will need to pay for the advertising uh, on newspaper or online, and also the legal fees, the attorney's fees. Those fees must be paid by the employer, not the employee. The first step is the so-called prevailing wage determination, or PWD. During this step, the employer or the legal representative will file the Form 9141 online to the U.S. DOL with the important job description, including the degree experience requirement, the major required for the position, etc. And uh, after that, several months later, the USDOL will provide a prevailing wage information. And then there's the recruitment step for which the employer will advertise the job. Such kind of advertising can go through the state's employment agency and newspapers, employer's own website, through a job search website, or employee referral program, etc. The employer should keep a signed recruitment report, but does not have to submit to the U.S. DOL. After this recruitment step, the employer will need to file another form called 9089, also online, to the U.S. DOL. And that will take several months for the U.S. DOL to adjudicate. After certification of this PERM labor certificate, the employer can then file the I-140 petition to the USCIS. Again, here the employer is the petitioner, 
and the individual is the beneficiary. Along with the I-140, or after the I-140 is filed, the individual can also file I-485 Adjustment of Status Application. And when the I-485 is approved, the individual will receive the green card. For more information about I-140 and I-485, you can check our other videos. So, as we just discussed, this PERM process requires employer sponsorship and the forms requires the employer's signatures. Besides PERM, there is also the EB1B Outstanding Researcher Petition, which also requires employer sponsorship. And on the other hand, the EB1A and NIW applications do not require employer sponsorship. If you have additional questions, you can contact us. And again, this topic for this video is U.S. Green Card through Employer-Sponsored PERM Labor Certificate process. Thank you.